Okay, Plymouth Village, another human good residence. Welcome, this is the last of three 10 minute heart healthy workouts we're presenting to everybody. Um, how you doing today? You ready to get started? Let's go ahead and start with the march. Why do we start with the march? It's kind of just a really good way to slowly warm up the body rather than jumping jacks, right? That might not be so good. <laughs> so remember, the whole point is just to get you up, get you moving. Most of these things can be done seated as needed. Also, we got my handy dandy chairs right here. If I felt I needed a little balance. So again, set yourself up for success. <sighs> good. Not much else to do right at the moment, but just kind of warm up. So let's do that. Good thing, to, what you can do is check your posture, see how you're feeling. It's so easy sometimes, especially for myself. I'm doing a lot of computer work, checking on a lot of things right now. <clears throat> doing maybe a little more sitting than I would like to do since I'm not able to teach any of our classes. So I have to find <clears throat> an opportunity to really Lengthen my posture, activate it. And again, this can be done seated. So you can do what's called active sitting, which means that you're not just kind of like crumpled over. When you're crumpled over, it's also a little harder to take in as much oxygen as the body needs. And when that happens, if you sit for too long, you start to get tired. And we know that can be a little bit of a slippery slope. So we wanna try to keep you energized, keep you positive all day long. So this uh, 10 minute video is so we're gonna add maybe a tiny bit more dancey aspect of it. <clears throat> all we're gonna do is take our um, toes to the front and tap and tap, good. So. Easy, right? Just tap, just tap in front. That kind of extends the knee, moves the little knee joint a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of a rhythm chain, a little syncopation. And this starts to move my hips a little bit more. Good. Do -do. Remember, put on some good music if you like, just to kind of keep you uh, inspired to perspire. So right now it's just kind of a tap front. I'm adding a little bit of an angle. Let's change it up just a little bit. Instead of just a single tap in front, we're gonna do two. So it's tap and tap, tap and tap. Good, I'm adding just a little rotation in the hip to keep things moving. And two on the left, two on the right, and two on the left. <sighs> so another reason to kind of change it up is why? Think, we gotta think, we gotta keep everything going. Mind, body, spirit. Oops, I forgot the two. See what happens, start talking, right? And tap, and tap. So I'm gonna make it even a little harder you can keep just the taps, you can march in place. Instead of two taps each side, I'm gonna take it to four. Here we go, one, and two, and three, and four, switch, and one, and two, and three, and four, switch, one, and two, three, four, switch, one, two, three, back to your single taps, tap, and tap, good, and tap. Keep it going. <sighs> I needed this, I hope you needed it too. I really would like to be with you all in class. This is as best as we got right now, right? Okay, so keep your tap. What else can we do with the tap? Actually, let's go back to a little march for a little bit and just kind of ease on into the day or the afternoon or the evening, whatever time you're watching this particular video. So a march can be kind of boring, but make it fun. All I'm doing now 
I was just kind of slowing it down so I can add a little bit more body parts, right? And Good, can you hear that kind of little stomp, right? Yeah. Good for the bones, really good for the bones. Good for the spirit too. Eight more, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Go back to your taps and tap. And tap. All right, and this time the tap's gonna take it out a little to the side, to side. Good, add a little dip if you'd like. Remember, if you're in a chair, you can also do this. You just take your legs out, then a little wider base of support, or just move the arms, and hook. So if you are standing, you can add a little more rotation. It's a pivot turn on an unloaded knee. Tap. Now swing the arms, reach and reach and reach. Swing and swing. Good, keep going, eight more swings. One and two, three, four, five, six. Hands on the hips, keep the legs wide. Good, go back to that kind of a tap and tap. Guess what? We need some work in the hips. So, how do we get there? Just take that tap a little bit more to the back. Again, if you need to, hold on to your chairs and start to push the leg back like you're ice skating. I'm Actually, if you want, you can use your arms here. Yeah, good, push and push. These are our biggest pushing muscles. They are so important for our balance, strength, mobility, Never forget those hips. All righty, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on, just set a good example. Okay, we wanna make sure that you feel really comfortable doing all these moves. So think about a little push or a squeeze each time you extend your hip back. Try not to lean forward when you do this. Keep a good active upright positioning. Good, make those muscles work. They need some work if you're sitting a little too much. Good, keep going. Repetition is really useful in terms of fatiguing the muscle. So you get what's called a training effect. So regular exercise is only as good as it is regular, right? My famous lines, you can store calories, but you can't store fitness. You really have to keep it moving. Keep going. I know it's like, oh, come on. These are starting to, starting to feel these muscles, right? These sit-upons. It's okay. They need to be used. Eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to your march in place. Oh yeah. I hope you kind of fell it around here. <laughs> At March, never felt so good, right? <sighs> Let's just keep this March. <sighs> so, yes, you can walk and chew gum. Yes, you can move and breathe regularly. And a March is a good time to do that. So you just are uh, taking a very sort of simplified motion, <sighs> keeping the heart rate up. go back to on our second video we learned a step touch right left right step touch so step together step together good another thing you can do is add a little bit of rotation this would be a little bit of internal hip rotation good really tap that big toe down So this next move, I want you to make sure that you have enough room behind you because we are going to do a little kickback, 
Little heel to the hip. Make sure that the step touch is a little bit wider. Good. We're gonna transition here. Step, touch, step. Now instead of the touch, the touch, what you're gonna do is a kick, a kick. Step, kick, kick. Good. Just remember, if you do have a chair behind you, make sure that you're not gonna kick it but that you do have some support as needed. Keep the shoulder strong and down. A good way to do that is to actually add a little tricep push back and back, back and back. Do you feel a good stretch in your quadriceps? Now hamstrings are key to balance and mobility and strength. <clears throat> you can really depend on them from a uh, sit to stand, stand to sit. Positioning, really important going up and down stairs. They provide a lot of stability in the knee joint and they need to be strengthened, not tight. Because sometimes when you're sitting a lot, yeah, you're contracting your hamstrings, but you're not strengthening them. So we have to get up and move. We have to do a certain level of exercise to keep our body really strong. Eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two, back to a wide tap. Good. Bring that tap to the front. Ooh, I'm feeling this. I hope you are too. It's a whole point. Exercise is kind of like consolidating 24 hours of movement into, in this case, 10 minutes. Back to your march and march. All right, I think we have conquered the 10 minute mark here. Good job, everybody. We're just going to uh, lower our heart rate before we stop completely. Remember, never just go gangbusters and then sit down. Always allow the circulatory system to sort of re, remove or re, uh, well, remove, <laughs> move uh, the blood flow. So there's no pooling in the lower body. <sighs> Start to slow it way down. Kind of swing the hips side to side. Again, let the body just do what, how best it moves. Everybody's got their own kind of rhythm, their own style. Let it come out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your thighs. Go into a semi-squat position. Good. Keep the hands on the thighs and just kind of tuck and roll. Oh yeah, that feels really good. Good, just find that position you need to hold on. Extending your hips back, keeping the abs tight. Now really tighten those abdominals, pull them in, feel the lower back, stretch all the way up. As you come all the way up, you'll feel a little tightening in the glutes, that's good. Release them. We're gonna do two more times, just lengthening to back and down. And tuck and roll up. Oh. One more time. Flat back down, hips back. It's like you're sitting, trying to find that chair. It's a little too far away. It's like, where is that chair? And tuck and roll up. All righty, roll your shoulders back. Get a wide base of support. And you're gonna take your right arm up and your left. Take the right arm out, take the left arm up and give yourselves a big hand. Good job, everybody. See you next time.